Welcome back, everybody. This is a channel dedicated to trying new types of concept art. This week, in particular, I'm using more of an impressionistic style, focusing on heavy strokes and high saturation. Right off the bat, I started creating a sketch and planned out the design. My only ideas at this point was it was going to have leaves and be tied into autumn. I then moved on to blocking out the shapes. Once that was done, I started refining the forms and adjusting the saturation and placement. Using a thick square brush, I started defining the shape of the creature. At this point, I decided it was going to be a hedgehog, and I started using quick strokes and saturated colors to build up the form. I kept moving fast so that the form wouldn't be over-designed. I added a few warm highlights, which helped to set off the hedgehog's features. Before I got too heavily invested in defining the shapes, I moved on to the log. I gave it a few quick strokes to help refine the form. After that, I shapened up some of the edges so it would read easier. Next, I moved on to the leaves. I only had to use a few quick strokes to define the forms. I then started overlaying reds and oranges to add variety. Mm -hmm. 
Using a color dodge layer, I was able to bump up the color and give them the appearance of glowing in sunlight. I also used this technique on the lock, giving it a warmer glow. The only difference was I chose to change the layer applied, from color dodge to hard light, for a deeper color tone in the shadows. Once I had applied filters to bump up the warmth and color, I realized he still needed something. A nose, of course. I then moved on to duplicating and rearranging the leaves. Adding a drop shadow to the log gave it the appearance it was laying on the ground and not floating. I was just about done when I realized half of his face was missing. Poor little hedgehog. So obviously I went back and added that in. And I made his cheeks nice and chubby. I then reapplied the filters, and then it was done. It only took about two hours to do the whole process. I usually don't like impressionistic styles, but this one worked out pretty good. So if you want to make stickers or small little cute art pieces, I would highly suggest trying this style out. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can see my new videos. Also feel free to leave a comment! And I'll see you on the next voyage.